okay friends welcome to this session uh, we have going to learn in this session uh, about the different rds operations so after creation what kind of operation is going to perform and what kind of operation will be supported and uh, restore of db version with previous uh, restore point so let's start so basically we have uh, uh, learned in previous session that creating the rds instance and how to configure that rds with ec2 and access that so basically once your rds is running you can uh, see the status but also you can change the configuration also so here you can see in the modify status that uh, you can change the all things like you want to change the mysql db engine if you want to change the db instance you can also change uh, you can also change the availability zone here is no so you can also select the years storage purpose you can change you can increase the, your allocation size with default limit to uh, based on your availability and requirement you can change the password and instance identifier here in a uh, security group you can also change and assign new group also so basically you can assign here and you can search here and assign from here uh, publicly accessibility here you can change from no to yes or yes to no based on your requirement port of course you can change the port number here so you can change from in a database port and want to tag your snapshot backup configuration you want to change the backup configuration and details monitoring so right now it's disabled you, you can also enable your monitoring and you can give the configuration based on your monitoring here so and the maintenance update so you can change the configuration of maintenance update also so basically um, even your instance is running and you created so you can modify your instance configuration so we are uh, this is the basically operations thing and you can change based on your requirement and basically we will see that uh, also understand and uh, let's try to understand how to restore in a previous state okay so let's go to an instant and here if you want to select and see here you can uh, see the restore to the point in time so you can restore in specific time so once i click here you can, the configuration will be show here so this is the my last time of restoration so you can see the 11 and 10 so my current time is 11 14 so it taken the restore time and uh, you can also choose the custom restore time here from uh, specification based on your specific requirement time so you can also restore a specific date time uh, basically when you do the restore in time it will be create the newly uh, entirely new database so fully from the scratch it will create new database you can also select the configuration for this new uh, snapshot to which creating from uh, your restore point so here you can see you want to change the license you want to do the availability on space identifier name so you can do this thing configuration also so let's create new one here and i'm just creating the for this uh, default time and uh, giving the name is my rds1 with all default configuration i'm creating so let's click on launch db instance okay so you can see here one new rds is creating here so basically it is the uh, copy of your rds on that particular time so you can use that particular times copy based on your requirement because uh, many times it's required for uh, specific use cases like in qa like in dev also sometimes for user specific data recovery you know, many uh, requirement is based on the different use cases or requirement 
okay guys so this is the uh, uh, based on uh, basically uh, discussing about the rds operations and how to restore the rds on specific time time in so basically you can also restore uh, this configuration based on your uh, configuration and modify uh, availability or availability of uh, restored time okay thanks okay friends thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more AWS technical video. Thank you.